morning to all welcome to all so uh, in last lecture we have studied the rear axle or types of rear axle so the next topic is front axle okay so uh, we you have see this in diagram there is a front axle diagram okay and there are different sections in this uh, front axle okay so the front axle is used to carry the weight of the front part of the vehicle as well as to facilitate steering and absorb shocks due to road surface variation it must be right and robust in construction okay the front axle is usually a steel drop forging having 0.4 carbon steel or a 1 to 3% of nickel steel it is made of i section in the center portion while the ends are made either circular or elliptical with this construction it takes bending loads due to the load of the vehicle also the torque center position is given a downward swept the different components the different components of the front axle are the beam stub axle swivel pin and track rod right so <clears throat> this is a simple front axle so uh, in this diagram you have to see the different types of components in a front axle right so figure shows the front axle component with steering linkages the wheels are fixed on the stub axle which are usually pivoted from the stub axle the inclined steering arms are connected to the track rod ends and third steering arm is attached to the drag link right so these are the components steering column drag link or a steering box dra drop arm dra drag link then drag link arm then uh, axle beam right track rod track rod joint then stub axle king pin these are the different types of component in front axle okay then next is types of front axle so in this uh, types of front axle there are mainly two types of front axles the race first live front axle and dead front axle so in this <coughs> the front axle are usually dead axle because they do not rotate in contact in contrast to the live axles that they are used in the rear axle to transmit power to the to the rear wheel a live front axle as compared to the dead axle as the additional function of transmitting the driving power taken from the transfer gearbox to the front wheel having a different uh, swelling mechanism okay so in this uh, simple the front axle is also simply called as a dead axle right because with the help of without the help of transfer case you cannot uh, rotate uh, uh, or uh, you not uh, the front axle is a live axle okay the live front axles although resembling the gear axles have some difference at the axle shaft shaft uh, sorry axle half shaft end where the wheels are mounted a dead front axle has enough rigidity and strength to carry the weight of the vehicle from the spring to the front wheel right the ends of the axle beam are formed suitably to assemble the stub axle in order to accommodate a swivel pin connecting a stub axle portion of the assembly the ends of the beam are usually shaped either as a yoke or plain surface with drilled holes then next topic is a stub axle right stub axle is also a type of axle right you have to seen in earlier lecture there are three types of axle rear axle front axle and stub axle so third type of axle is stub axle 
so in this stub axle the front wheel are mounted on the stub axles which are connected <coughs> which are connected to the front axle by means of king pins the stub axles are the forging of 3% of nickel steel and alloy steel containing chromium and molybdenum the stub axle turns on the king pin which is a light drive fit in the axle beam either placed and locked by a taper cotter pin phosphorus bronze bushes are fitted into the forked end of the axle to provide a bearing surface of the king pin the vertical load are taken by the steel washer or thrust bearing located either on the top fork of the stub axle or between the lower fork and the underside of the axle beam okay then types of stub axles the following are the four types of stub axle there are a four types of stub axle first eloid second reverse eloid third lemoin and fourth reverse lemoin so one by one we have to take an okay first is eloid stub axle the eloid stub axle is attached to the front axle by placing in the yoke end with a king pin and cotter to join the two together right the swivel pin is usually fixed in the stub axle forging with its purpose turning in the forced closing of the axle beam axle beam axle beam forms a yoke and receives stub axle the thrust washer placed at the top of the stub axle you have to see that a simple diagram of eloid stub axle uh, you have to see that the front axle is connected to the stub axle right and these two are connected with the help of king pin right so in this and uh, quarter quarter pin or quarter joint uh, quarter pin is connected to the your uh, stub axle with the help of this connected uh, your stub axle is connected then in between the front axle and the uh, stub axle the thrust washer are placed because of the friction are not generated friction are not generated in this uh, uh, eloid uh, stub axle so there is a thrust washer are placed in between the uh, stub axle and front axle okay then next uh, in reverse eloid type stub axle you have to see in that earlier that in uh, eloid type of uh, eloid type of uh, stub axle there is a uh, thrust washer in upward side but in reverse eloid stub axle there is a thrust washer in a downward side okay you have to see the diagram right the quarter pin stub axle front uh, uh, your front axle right <coughs> in reverse eloid type stub axle the arrangement is reverse it is widely used in current automobiles used in trucks the reverse eloid type stub axles forms the forked end to receive the front axle beam the front axle end forms i and the thrust washer placed at the bottom of the front axle beam that is that is at the contact face of the stub axle right the quarter pin in the joint that locks the movement of king pin the in the front axle okay the front axle cha je hai right to tacha madhe tumchi king pin fix karnar hai tumcha je king pin ahe right the chi movement sathi the king pin is free to move in the phosphorus bronze bushes placed in the eye of the fork end right so there is a simple reverse eloid stub axle then next is lemoin right so <coughs> in this diagram you have to see that uh, a stub axle is connected to your 
front axle right with the help of king pin okay so uh, the front axle beam end forms i to take support on the stub axle the stub axle and king pin integrates to create reverse a l shape assembly receives the front axle the front sorry the thrust washer placed between the stub axle and front axle beam right you have to see this in this diagram the uh, washer is in thrust washer is in between uh, stub axle and front axle right and the l section or l shape are assembly are formed okay so here the quarter pin in the joint is used to lock the front axle in position right the king pin is free to move in the bushes placed in the eye of the front axle the thrust washer takes the vertical load in the joint okay then last reverse lemoin stub axle okay so you have to see this in this diagram so there is a front axle and uh, stub axle okay and the uh, king pin uh, king pin is connected to the both front axle and stub axle the front axle beam ends i to take support the stub axle the stub axle and king pin integrates to form and to form an inverted l shape assembly to receive the front axle <coughs> you have to see in this diagram the simple front axle uh, front uh, front axle beam ends form i to take support the stub axle right the sub axle and king pin integrates to form an inverted l shape right this form of shape is a inverted l shape assembly to receive the front axle the thrust washer is placed at the bottom as shown in figure right tumhala je dista hai ki tumcha je front axle cha downward side la hai tithe ek nut ahe right तो त्याच्या बिट्वीन फ्रंट ॲक्सेल आणि त्याच्या खाली बरोबर तुमचं थ्रस्ट वॉशर आहे राईट सो द क्वॉटर पेन इन द जॉईंट यूज टू लॉक द फ्रंट ॲक्सेल इन पोझिशन ओके द किंग पेन इज फ्री टू मूव्ह इन द बुशेस प्लेस्ड इन द आय ऑफ द शाफ्ट द थ्रस्ट वॉशर टेक्स द व्हर्टिकल लोड अँड इट इन्क्रीजेस द लाईफ ऑफ बोथ द स्टब ॲक्सेल अँड front axle right so these are the simple uh, types of stub axle okay so uh, in this lecture we have studied the simple uh, front axle and stub axle right so uh, this is the end of our lecture next time we have studied other point or other topic okay